So we have in-game dance, top 16. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, so first off, we have a guest here. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Adriana. She is actually a movie reviewer that she does a whole bunch of reviews <laughs> on YouTube. If you yeah. like movies, follow Adriana yeah. Flo. It's uh, Fresh from the Theater or Adriana Flo. You can search either <laughs> of those, I'm sure it it'll come work. up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but okay. we're going to still talk about So You Think You Dance. We yeah. watched it together. This is our fresh thoughts, fresh from the couch um <laughs> and yeah so the judges today carly ray jubson joins nigel and mary yeah think? um she's not a dancer so <laughs> and I, she really had no input she, you were incredible <laughs> you were incredible and we liked your dress and your facial expression <laughs> so <laughs> good yeah anyways um the bottom three they started off at the bottom three again uh alan curtis and blueprint for the guys jenna um, Mariah and Mackenzie for the girls and they were like Jenna we don't need to see your solo everybody else we need to see yeah yeah they let her they let her slide yeah. um, but let's start talking about the performances okay so the group dance is choreographed by Stacey Tukey and new choreographer Peter Chu um, I really liked it I thought it was good it reminded me of something that I would have imagined in my own head as I was listening to the song on the bus like I, I really liked it for those reasons I liked it too. I didn't think it up, but I liked the use of color. Like, it's all red at first, their costumes and the lighting, and then they all strip and the lights change to white, which was really cool. And I just liked the dance itself. Yeah, it was one of the best of the night. Alexis and Nico started off the night. They did a jive piece choreographed by Tony Meredith and Melanie. Welcome Tony back. Tony and Melanie. Yeah, this was like the episode of bringing back old choreographers, which was kind of really nice to see. Yeah, it's cool. But... Alexis and Nico just were forgettable towards the end, it really was. It was just, like, blah. Yeah, I felt like I could see them counting their moves, and, like, each each movement, I could see him, like, okay, I'm going to lift you now, or I'm going to do this mm. now. I can see the thought process behind it, so it didn't flow. Yeah, I know, but Alexis managed to, like, get out of the bottom. I don't know how she did it. I don't know what people see in her. And now she's, like, shoving uh, in my face as she's an Olympic gold medalist. <laughs> yeah, ugh. I didn't like that. The next dance was Jenna and Tucker, and it was choreographed by Travis Wall, who the judges just love, like, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Anything he does, he Yeah, it's like, love. he could do the worst dance and be like, oh yeah! <laughs> but I'm really, just a little bit annoyed about that. Yeah, we... I wanted to like it. I really did, and... I liked it, but, like, not the way they just, like, kiss his ass so much. I don't get it. <laughs> he's so good. Like, he has he's so, so many good, good routines, but like, <laughs> but, like, anything he does, he's, like, they're, uh, like... Bleh. They're, like, in love with him. Yeah, and I, I honestly found the, the red strings kind of distracting. I don't know if you... No, I liked... I liked the thought of it, but it was just so funny when she gets stuck at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and stuck. no one said everyone, anything about no it because it's Travis Wall. <laughs> everyone was like, yeah. don't say anything about yeah. how she messed up. Yeah, but she did, so. Mariah and Blueprint were next to dance. So Brian Friedman Jazz. Love that Brian Friedman was back. Um, and I liked it. I honestly, like, I thought that they lost momentum towards the end, which Nigel said. And I was like, I feel like oh, I always say what the judges say. Yeah, yeah, he exactly said it. Yeah, I said it. I he said witness. it to me first before Nigel I said have it. Have a witness. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I liked it, and I would have liked them to stay. Yeah, Oops. I like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gave it away. <laughs> oh no, I liked them a lot, and that was actually not my favorite of the night. But I just really enjoyed that routine more than a lot of the other ones. I thought it was really like, crazy and fun, and they had like really cool costumes. Yeah, it was different. It was yeah, nice it was to see. different. I liked it. The next dance was Melise and Alan, who danced a Dave Scott hip hop piece, and Melise definitely outshone Alan, who just he's too like ballroom. Yeah. He couldn't do it. It sucks because like he he managed to do really well in all his other routines, but this one was really obvious. He was out of his element. Yeah, and I really felt like. Uh, I mean, if I was looking at Melise, I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more, but I was looking at Alan. I, I looked was at him like, too. And I was just kind of like, her, oh, this isn't that good. Well, it's because, like, they showed him in the pre thing not really being able to do it, so I just wanted to see him not really be able to. I wanted to see him prevail, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wanted to see him do I was it. Like, and, I'm and you're see like, this. You're like, I want to see him mess up. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Haley and Curtis were next to dance a decast pre contemporary piece, and I. 
honestly like this more than uh, the Travis Wall one. Me their, too. their prop was the latter. Um, and yeah, I mean, again, these this couple hasn't really like proven themselves to me yet, but I, I, I did like this one better than the other one. I liked it better too. I liked the use of the latter. I don't really know exactly what their relationship was in the story. I guess they explained it. Maybe I just missed it. But I liked when they were like hanging off the ladder and, and still on Frozen. And especially when she like runs and jumps and like climbs the ladder completely. I thought that was so impressive. Um, and the judges just like won't let Curtis go for his shoulders. Yeah, they hate he said, it. <laughs> no, I just had to ruin the routine for him. <laughs> like that's a little extreme. I thought it was like a really nice, like lovely routine. It had like emotions and stuff and and that just like your all, shoulders all this <laughs> your shoulders it all up. killed it killed it <laughs> apparently he's all like this or something <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> the next routine was amy and fiction who danced a Thai stereo jazz piece and this one was really cool um they were played like homeless people and it was really kind of character driven and it was the triplets of belleville soundtrack so it was i don't know i really liked it I yeah know you did i gotta too. like I love the piece, number one, I'm going to say that. Number two, so you think dance fans, you know that I'm going to notice that this is exactly <laughs> like Wade Robson's season three, Sarah and Jesus, the one with the newspaper. That was also triplet to Belleville. I <laughs> love that piece so much, and I was nervous that it was going to look too similar, because that one, they're vagabonds, these ones are hobos, like, it was a very similar concept. Yeah. But I just, uh, this piece was awesome. It was honestly... Yeah, it was really good. I would have never guessed that it was Tysterio, because I That's honestly true. never it's really like his choreography. Boring. Yeah. He's usually yeah. kind of boring. But this piece was my favorite for sure, by yeah. far. And, and they, I love them. Yeah, they showed their personality so much. I liked it. Yeah, they definitely got the characters. Yeah. Mackenzie and Paul were next. They danced a Dave Scott hip-hop piece. They were, they did... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mackenzie and Paul were next. They danced a Dave Scott hip-hop piece. Um, Mackenzie was dressed in 1930s attire. I love that love era. Obviously love uh, everything about that era. Um, and I, it, they were hard hitting. I liked it. I didn't love it. What did you think? I really liked it. I think it was maybe my favorite of the night. I thought it was just like, like they said, it was really like hot and sexy and like a lot of chemistry between them, which it seems like they just have a lot of chemistry as a couple in general. It also reminded me a lot of The Great Gatsby, not just because of the dress, but the music, because it was a hip hop. It was, um... I forget what the song was, but it was some hip-hop song, and, like, that movie took, like, hip-hop and infused it with 1920s era, so I thought that was really cool, like, playing on that idea as well. Bringing it back to your movie review. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> <laughs> the next dance is Aaron and Zach, I mean, Jasmine. <laughs> that was so funny, and she's like... I uh, used to be a tomboy, and like she said all these things, and I was like, "This isn't really like, tomboy." Is really tomboy? <laughs> and then she's like, "I, I want to be called Zach," and I'm like, "What?" What? Anyways, what? they danced What's a quick step. Yeah. <laughs> they danced a quick step. Um, I felt like, and I said this, I felt like um, what they lacked in technique, they had in performance, and we were like, "Oh, um, I just said that." Yeah, but it was like it was all right. I mean, it was entertaining. It wasn't obviously perfect in terms of the technique but yeah um, but they had some cool lifts and spins and stuff mm, like it looked like they were having yeah fun. it looks like fun and the quick step is not always like my favorite kind of dance to watch yeah. but they made it entertaining yeah okay so now back to the bottom five contestants um since jenna was saved so there's only five of them yeah anyways they danced a solo my favorite solo was alan's i thought it was great oh, paso doble that solo that was favorite. good that was my favorite one mine was blueprints oh, oh my god blueprints yeah but he went home, so yeah. now I'm bitter. Yeah, and uh, Mariah went home too. Her solo really didn't compare to Mackenzie's, though. And Mackenzie was just oh, like, she did the Claire de Lune, yeah, right? Yeah, it was yeah, so good. Yeah, that was really good. And uh, I liked, I liked um, what's her girl's name? Mariah's. Mariah's too. Yeah, yeah. I like Mariah's too. <laughs> All right, so that is the end of my recap. Uh, my favorite routine for sure. Ty Stiorio's The Hobo Piece. I just loved it. What about you? I liked that one a lot too. I also liked Mackenzie and Paul's hip hop. 1930s one. Yeah, that one was good. Yeah, and thank you, Adriana, for coming and sitting in my review. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, my only second guest appearance. Wow, so, honored. Yeah, yeah. Honored. Do you like her? What do you think? Leave a comment. <laughs> follow her. Follow yeah, her. Yeah, follow me. Yeah, if you want to know, theater. you want to know movies. This girl knows movies. Oh, thanks. Yeah. He knows. So you think he can dance? Well. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Peace. Peace.